please join me in our call to worship. Over the turbulent waves in our lives, Jesus calls us. We get so busy watching the waves, we block out Jesus' call. Look again, Jesus is calling to you. Lord, help us hear your voice. Come, place your trust in Jesus. Lord, forgive our doubts, receive our lives. Amen. Our scripture this morning comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. This scripture passage is titled, Jesus Walks on the Water, and is a familiar passage to many of us. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. Here ends our reading. So I had hoped to record this morning's sermon on the shores of Dog Pond at Camp Cachapiani, but our weather and lack of power and the fact that I injured my back last week um, made that impossible. So here we are again in my home office. Our scripture this morning was the lectionary gospel reading for last Sunday. And ironically, a storm made worship impossible. But the storm, both the one that came through our part of the world and the storm that is referenced in the Bible this morning got me thinking. We've been weathering a lot of storms lately, not just natural storms. Some of us or our loved ones are battling storms of health, emotional, mental, and physical. The daily news is bringing storms to many of our hearts. Storms that rain anger and sadness and frustration. Jesus was battling a storm too on the day that this scripture referenced today. The scripture reading happens immediately after the feeding of the 5,000, which takes place just after Jesus has heard that his good friend and cousin, John the Baptizer, had been beheaded. What does Jesus do while grieving this tremendous loss? Well, in pure Jesus fashion, he performs a miracle and then sends the disciples away and goes to pray. He's not weathering the storm on his own. The disciples are trying to weather an actual storm. What does Peter do during his storm? He recognizes Jesus and he reaches out. But somewhere along the way, Peter loses faith. Maybe in Jesus, but more likely in himself. In a moment, I'm going to invite you to take part in a contemplative practice called Visio Divina. You may have heard of Lectio Divina, which focuses on the written scripture. To spend some time with it, read it, or listen to it several times, and kind of see what pops up for you, where you find God in it. Visio Divina is the same type of thing, except it uses images. Sometimes these images are pictures of art. Um, Sometimes they're just pictures. And oftentimes they can be videos. So praying with your cup group experienced this practice several times 
while we were using the Beguiled by Beauty series, and our deacons gave it a whirl at their meeting last month. Usually while taking part in a contemplative practice, we are encouraged to let our minds be open, paying attention to what comes up for us. You may do that while you experience this, but I'm also going to invite you to reflect during this time on the storms that are in your life. After you've spent a little bit of time thinking about that, and maybe you're already starting to think about what in your life you could classify as a storm is, after a bit of time, I invite you to reflect on where God is in the midst of those storms. Do you grasp for the holy but miss its presence? Or maybe you are the type of person who, when you are in the midst of a storm, you don't reach out at all. Do you reach out, but only rely on God or whoever you're reaching out to to help? Instead of being a partner in the storm? I think so many times we try to weather the storms of our lives from extremes. Either we do it by ourselves, or we, we rely totally on God. We forget that we are children of God and capable of so very much. And together with God, we are capable of so much more. We need to remember to have faith in God, but to also have faith in ourselves, that with God, we can do all things and weather all storms. After the video reflection time, which is about two minutes long, we'll close with a poem called Bid Me Come by Steve Garnis Holmes. Bid me come. When you're afraid of the storm, when wind and waves and weariness bully you, you want your savior. You want to hear that comforting voice. But don't be fooled by relaxing easement. Sometimes the sovereign of heaven and heart won't be calm you, won't hasten you to paradise, but will make you say, have me join you. And if it is truly the one, you will. The beloved will draw you out of the boat of assurance. You will step into the deep unknown and you will sink. You will plunge into the dark chaos 
the sea formless and void. You will be immersed in the baptismal drowning. Jesus holding your hand no matter how deep you go, and only then will you be raised, delivered from the womb of the sea, new and wet and infant, breathing in with renewed passion this cherished life, this miraculous new belonging, and the storm outside will vanish within, the calm within. When you're tired and feel you can't get through Uncertainty comes over you Just look around When your problems seem too much to bear Unsure if there's someone who cares Just look around Whether stranger, neighbor, family or on each other in tough times we can depend Look around, kindness, love is ours to share We can see it everywhere Though it might seem like forever Look around, even in the darkest night Things are gonna be alright We'll get through this together, just look around. Holy One, life seems to get crazy sometimes. We love the smooth times when all is well, but oh Lord, we have serious problems with wind and waves. We want you to fill our sails with a lovely breeze that guides our little boats across the glassy sea. But you know that life isn't just glassy seas and gentle breezes. Sometimes things get rough. Help us place our trust in you during all these rough times. You call to us to reach out, to take our focus off our own panic and place our trust in your love. Then you ask us to reach out to others with the same kind of love and compassion that you have given to us. Today, we come to you with our burdens and cares. Our seas are not calm, but you offer to us a lifeline. Be with us, guide our lives, give us courage and hope. Strengthen us to truly be your disciples. All of this we ask in the strong name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Sometimes it can be hard to see Life is full of possibilities So look around Each new day is such a gift Embrace it and the life you live And look around Outstretched arms and many helping hands don't give up on all your dreams and all your plans. Look around, kindness, love is ours to share. We can see it everywhere. Though 
it might seem like forever, look around, for even in our darkest night, things are gonna be alright, we'll get through this together, just look around, look around, just look Like the song says, with outstretched arms and helping hands, we'll get through this together. Here are some ways you can contribute to the mission of the church. If you'd like to make a monetary donation, you may do so online or by mail. The online donation link will be in the comments and you can mail your donation to PO Box 216. You can continue to donate food items that help those in our community who are facing some food insecurity our SYNC program, supporting youth, nutrition, and care, is in need of Pop-Tarts, pudding cups, and juice boxes. And we could use your time as well. On August 15th and August 22nd, we will be making pies to prepare for our drive through Blueberry Festival that will take place on August 29th. Watch your email for more details and a sign-up link. As a sign of solidarity, let us recite together our common commission. Let us now go forth into the world in peace, being of good courage, holding fast to that which is good, rendering to no person evil for evil, strengthening the faint-hearted, supporting the weak, helping the afflicted, honoring all people, loving and serving the Lord, and rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank mm -hmm. you.